My name is Justine Warner and I am a textiles and mixed media artist uh, living just north of York in a village called Sherrickhutton at the base of the Wardian Hills. Uh, I'm taking part in North Yorkshire Open Studios this year and I thought I would uh, use this video just to talk you a little bit through the processes that I use and how I produce my main pieces of work. Um, yesterday I went for a, a nice lovely walk with my dogs in Stittenham Woods which is only about half an hour away from here and I wanted to go and have a look at the celandines and the bluebells within the woods. Uh, so I took my iPad, I took my uh, mobile phone and I took my camera and I used all of those different types of media to take videos, to take photographs and then came home and then printed off um, the, the images which I thought portrayed the um, pictures that I wanted to produce. So once I had my photographs, um, I chose two images that I wanted to work with. One of them was of the Salandines, which I'll come back to later, um, but the process that I'm going to show you and talk you through um, on this video is of the Bluebells pictures. So um, I printed my favourite picture out, I particularly like the, the Bluebells in the background and particularly the shadows, so that's uh, what I use quite a bit in my work. I uh, lay the base, so I work with men's ties, so I work with the men's ties as my canvas. So to me, this is what I can see within the picture, within the background. So I work with men's ties to produce different layers. So this will be the actual black background to, to my work. So you're not gonna see much of this, but the textures and the colors are gonna come through from the back and through the layers which I produce. So here for me, we have the background, the midground and the foreground. And what's important to me is not only the colours, um, but the textures and the, the, the size of patterns, so it puts a little bit of perspective into the work as well. So what you see here is where I've actually sewn the ties onto a main canvas. Um, so that will hold those down, but I'm starting to flatten the work as well, so I can start to produce my layers. So once the ties are all laid down and I've got my background, I then start to work on the layers. Now what I need to do, what I try to do is to blend between the two ties. So on this one here, I've got um, some scraps uh, which I take from each of the old pictures. So these are threads which I've cut down all the pictures and I put them in a jar and I save them so nothing's wasted. Um, and then I start to lay them between the two joins. So here I can see that there's um, old threads, old sari silks, I've got some netting. And then what I'm going to do is take a um, fabric. Um, so this one I think is from a, a screen print screen. And I'm going to lay that on top so it encapsulates all of the threads so that um, they don't get stuck in the sewing machine. So now I'll start to lay those down with a lighter fabric so that the two ties, so we can actually disguise the two joins between the two ties there. So now I start the blending technique.
So uh, I think the picture's uh, completed now. I think it's finished. Uh, I'll probably, and what I tend to do is to leave it overnight, come back, look at it again, um, and that could last over a few days. Once I'm happy with it, I'll then sew it onto a board. Um, that board then gets taken to the framers so they can treat it like a, a painting, um, and then they frame it in, uh, usually I choose an oak frame, and it's used with spacers just so that the fabric stays away. I've tended to use more recently um, uh, light reflective glass, um, so object glass, so you can't see the glare, you can't see um, a reflection on the glass. But yes, so I've finished it, um, as you can see. Hopefully you have been able to look through the process as I've been doing it, but basically it's all about layers, it's adding layers. I tend to work from the back, and start to come forward into the foreground and I work within those layers so I don't just see the whole picture together I, I sort of break it apart and I do it a little bit at a time um, as if I'm in the woodland and I'm, I'm standing at the back to begin with and I'm walking my way forward so I tend to use the threads and old feathers all bits of found objects and I tend to use those as a, a, a painter would use uh, paints. So I'm adding those threads, I'm adding those sort of scraps of fabric and building it up layers at a time and just kind of moving the colour around to produce um, the finished piece. So here's pretty much the finished piece of the Stittenham Woods um, and the bluebells up there. I will go on to do a picture based on the celandines. Um, <clears throat> I tend to like to do them quite quickly after visiting the place so I can remember the feel of the, and the atmosphere of the place whilst I was up there. Um, a couple of other pictures that are due to go to the framers um, which are completed. Uh, this is one which is of uh, Millington Woods so in the autumn when I went there and here's another one of Millington Woods so I've, I've done a series of Millington I've done a really big one which has gone to a collector already but I liked really enjoyed the dog walk and really enjoyed the uh, visit there over the autumn One of the enjoyable aspects of the work that I do is when I run workshops. So um, I tend to run workshops in North Yorkshire and the surrounding area. Uh, but I like to think of my work as quite experimental. So um, here's just a range of, of the workshops that I would run. So this would be working on to soluble fabric, a little bit of inspiration from nature. So obviously this relates very well to the trees and the uh, Stittenham um, work that I've been doing, watercolour and acrylic work um, and a sort of uh, local scenes at, at the beaches and places like that. So these are my sketchbooks. I'm quite experimental in terms of um, like a scientific approach to things. So I like to look at how you can time um, different aspects of the work and how that uh, changes the outcome that you get and keeping a record of that. Um, so uh, here's some other parts of the classes that I run. This is a heat shrink fabric, a slow stitching and using a range of materials such as um, here we've got some eco dyeing, we've got some rusting and these are all classes which I teach, uh, working with mod rock and more recently I've really got into working with metals and with the students working with metals so we either heat them up or we used um, household chemicals such as bleach um, lemon juice to change the the surface of them and then we we sew into those so we we choose metals which we can sew into
Um, more recently, some of the work that I've been working with is um, on a gel plate. So I've always absolutely loved the effect of printing. So this is me sort of experimenting and having a play um, with the printing techniques. So I'm using nature to print with and um, I'm just sort of looking at again layers and techniques for that but hopefully this will lead into some work where I actually sew into this. So this is on paper, on watercolour paper and I'm going to progress on to fabrics and then and lastly uh, progress into sewing into that so as I say these are local um, courses which I'm running um, and obviously if you're interested in those then please feel free to get in touch via email so hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into me as an artist um, and hopefully you'll sort of have an understanding of the concepts and and and, and how I, I actually work to produce my main exhibition pieces if you wanted to see the work in um, as it's it's finished and um, there will be an exhibition hopefully at the salt gallery in September that's in Beverly if not I am represented by Nunnington Galleries so if you wanted to go on their website and see some of my work for sale um, and then I exhibit my work at Wraithwaite Estate in Sands End so they're the places where you can sort of currently see my work and hopefully um, I'll have some more exhibitions coming up soon um, if you wanted to contact me or see my work um, in progress um, I'm on social media under Pearl Loves Paisley, so that's Instagram and Facebook. So if you wanted to join those, um, then you can see I quite often post pictures of either inspiration or my work in progress. Um, or you can visit my website, which is uh, www.pearllovespaisley.co.uk or email me and then I can pop you onto my uh, mailing list and that is uh, pearllovespaisley at gmail.com um, so if you wanted to, to see what classes I've got coming up or what my exhibitions where, where they're going to be and the dates of those then I can I can send that through I'll pop you on the mailing list and um, that's it um, thank you very much for, for uh, visiting North Yorkshire Open Studios online. Hopefully we will see you next year. So you'll be able to come to the house next year. Um, in terms of where I'm going now, hopefully um, there's some building work which is due to start in the next few months. So uh, as much as I love my little studio, um, I, I'm get into the stage where I'd like a little bit more space so please uh, come and visit the new studio space and come and see sort of how that's progressing but thank you very much bye